attack of your co-workers, your everyday friends. Think about it. Even your best friends you don't see more than two or three times a week, maybe not even that many times. But your co-workers are there to greet you five times a week. Good morning. Good morning. Nancy, smile. It's only Monday. The early bird always gets there before you and makes miraculously watery coffee for everyone. Your co-workers know nothing about you, but somehow you know everything about them. You know about their allergies, you know about their car troubles, and of course, about their kids. I took Aiden to open up a minor savings account because he's got a bunch of money from his grandparents for Chinese New Year. But then I had second doubts because they had a monthly fee if we didn't keep a hundred bucks in there. Not that he's going to be doing a bunch of withdrawals. He's like six years old, right? <laughs> Fail. I felt bad too because they gave Aiden a little piggy bank that was really cute, and the account lady was like, "See, now you can put your change in the little piggy." And then Aiden was like, "That's what mommy uses for the parking meter." Fail. What's that one dog movie? Holy moly! Muscle? Do they ever the shut up? How many paragraphs can she cram in within a single breath? It's almost like they like coming here. I mean, I guess it's a good place for them to try and get people to buy stuff from their Amway account. Steven, you looked at that catalog I gave you, right? Lots of good stuff, huh? Ready? What do you want to order? Uh, Elena, I told you I don't have the need to buy perfume and makeup. What about your girlfriend? She likes being pretty. What about a golf bag? They have nice golf bags. The only people who hate being there more than you are the art school drifters who finally have to get real jobs when they realize nobody wants to pay for their crappy art, and now they're goofing off drawing pictures of you. <laughs> Check out the sketch I made of you while you're getting chewed out by the boss. Gee, thanks, Junior. You're great at that. Here you go. You can have it. Just let me Xerox it for my portfolio. And I guess that older lady who basically just seems pissed about the computers. God damn stupid machine! Never works right. What? 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 what what's this? What, what does it want now? Yes, I accept. I already did that. Sorry about this. It's just this machine. Stupid machine. You miss those days in college when everybody was trying to prove how hip their music tastes were, because here they couldn't even list all four members of the Beatles. The only music you ever catch them humming is a nursery rhyme or a Christmas song. They don't even get those right. The only culture you ever exchange around the old water cooler is mindless relaying of last night's The Voice, the current scandal on The Bachelor, and who got voted off American Idol. Oh my God! Did you guys watch The Voice last night? Oh my God! What was the deal with Chris Martin last night? Epic fail. My future husband. Poor Chris. No oh way! He's a total loser if he's going to let Shakira win that fat girl, that soul singing Asian girl. You know how rare that is. That's like finding a husband who knows how to say sorry. My husband never says he's sorry. Not only is he a husband, but he's an Asian husband. Like this time he totally burned half the kitchen down. He was like Tim Taylor, and he still manages to make some excuse about it. Like his effort outweighed the outcome. <laughs> Fail. Dude, that was a lot of work. I'm gonna go on break. You're going to Starbucks? Give me a non-fat caramel macchiato. You know I'm good for it. Oh, give me a mocha frappuccino. Oh, it's like ten in the morning, huh? Fail. Give me a strawberry frappe. <sighs> Do they think you want to spend your entire break time waiting for their orders to be made? The answer is yes. I guess they're not bad people. They always bring back something when they go on vacation. And when it's your birthday, they all forget that you hate cake and gather around you for some corporate-style birthday song singing. Uh, if only they'd remember you hate cake. Hello, anyone over there ever hear of a pie? Cold potato. They come in and they come out, hardly saying a word to anyone. Whenever topics of conversation stray from off the work-related path, it's a doozy. Do you know why I wasn't here Friday? Uh, oh, hey you. Um, you were out sick Friday? No, my husband died. Oh boy, the lonely and polite. Oh hey, uh, Nancy. Uh. Thanks for responding to my email so quickly. I really appreciate it. Oh, no problem. Okay, well, if I'm lucky, um, maybe I'll see you later. Okay. All right. Okay. Bye, bye. The superstar. Hey guys. 
I sent you guys all a memo about it, but my band's playing at the Starry Pal this Tuesday night. It's for open mic, but don't worry, we all signed up, so we'll be playing like four songs. And they're gonna sound pretty decent on those amps there. Bootleg Joe, popular addition to the break room, they always seem to have the latest box office hits on those little discs they call tapes. Uh, I just picked up a bunch of new tapes. Uh, Gravity. Got the one it's not like you ever have to go out to the movies these days. I'm sure Gravity was almost as breathtaking in the break room as it would have been in IMAX. 